did you first get the idea okay. that this would be a good idea? <laughs> oh, it's just wonderful. These flowers are just gorgeous. Well, I don't know if it's a good idea yet. But <laughs> they smell so sweet. We started on this program in 1982. Jerry Parsons and a buddy planted okay. the seeds of this dream that long ago. The idea seemed to be rooted in fertile soil. Let's do a uh, red, white, and blue a blue bonnet flag for the sesquicentennial, which was 1986. One little problem. Oh, they had the blue bonnets, but those other bonnets? We needed maybe a the red whites. and a white. It's what you call young, foolish optimism. We did have the white by 1986. Uh, we were going to find the pink and make it darker, mm -hmm. which is exactly what we did. Well, they missed the sesquicentennial deadline. Turns out the project would average about 20 years, mainly to get all their ducks of uh, blue bonnets in a row. Were you confident that it was going to look the way you wanted it to? A lot of prayer helped. Now, you should know that Jerry's wife, Carolyn, has got a garden at home. And being married to a guy who can do that, can't you just imagine what her garden looks like? I promise you, you can. She brings that to my attention. Our place looks like hell with the fires out. But yet, here's... <laughs> <laughs> Seems Parson and his flag have weathered their share of storms, but he refused to let this whole thing wither. Remember now, he set out to see it through. That was his pledge. These colors of the blue bonnets have never existed in this larger planning together in the history of the world. As one of my friends said, he's not very bright, but he sure is persistent, you know, and that's... Uh, and that's you. Uh, <laughs> that's, what, that's what made it, made it happen. In Fredericksburg, Bridget Smith, Ken's 5, Eyewitness News.